Hi my yardy friends, my name is Crystal. Um, I live with a chronic illnesses <laughs> and um, I love to crochet um, and I wanted to get on here and share some acquisitions and finish objects and whip or finish object and whip. Um, I only could show one whip because um, <laughs> one's a gift but I wanted to start with I'm at a thousand subscribers! Yay! Oh my gosh! I can't believe it! I'm so excited! Um, I will be doing a giveaway, but not in this this vlog. Um, it'll be coming up soon. Um, um, I'll let you know what it is when um when it's in that vlog. <laughs> it won't be announced. And it will just be randomly hidden in a vlog to celebrate the thousand subscribers. I'm so excited. Um, hmm. So I'm going to start with, oh, um, I got a Christmas card. I didn't get to check my um, mail Christmas Eve. It's about a 30 minute drive round trip. Um, and I was really bad Christmas Eve. Um, but I received a car from, card from Judy. Isn't that cute? What a beautiful card. I still have my cards up. I might keep them up for at least another week because it just brings me happiness and joy. I love to see them. Um, I thank you so much, Judy, for the card. Um... The, um, so I'm going to do acquisitions first, and I have a lot of them, <laughs> a lot. Um, the first one I will do is I got more fabric because, you know, I feel ambitious. <laughs> I'm like, I have lots of fabric right here, and you can't see how much is in there. Thinking I'm going to make these project bags that my body doesn't allow me to but when I can, one of my next ones is going to have to be one of these fabrics that I got. Um, I saw the project bag that Deb, the Canadian crocheter, um, she made Rose. It was the chocolate one. And I loved it. And I was like, I want one. <laughs> so I um, found some fabric online that's chocolate. So, I found this fabric right here. I liked it because it had pops of red and some green and pink. So cute. The other, I don't know how to get two. Because <laughs> I love some chocolate. <laughs> that might have been similar. I'm not, I can't quite remember what um, roses looked like. But, so cute. Chocolate. Then my last one is, look, I love coffee. And I'm like, why don't I have a coffee project bag? What's wrong with me? <laughs> so I had to get this one. I love lattes. I love coffee. I like fufu coffee. Yeah, I, I have to have milk in my coffee and a little white chocolate or vanilla <laughs> and some stevia. Okay, I'm going to do take two on my next thing I'm going to show you. Because <laughs> I was having problems showing this. <laughs> I got, um, it's a crochet hook um, gauge. So it can help you figure out what size crochet hook you have. And you want it to go this way. And once it fits through you should know what size you have, but it was working well for me up until I'm trying to show it on, on camera. This is a 15. I can't tell you what number. Oh, there. And there's 15. It'll go through the 15, but it won't go through the 14. Let's try. This is a six millimeter and I can't tell backwards. I'm having a hard time. Won't go through that one, but it goes through that one. So, um, I like it because, uh, you know, I got a couple furls hooks and you, those numbers aren't on there well. And then like this, um, boy, 
these numbers are starting to come off. So you know it's a smaller one, but you don't know which one is. So I like this this gauge because um, it's a lower profile. It's not very big, so you know it can fit in like one of my bags or wherever I need to put it. So I really really like that. Um, another acquisition that I'm happy with. I got this for my sewing table, but let me put a couple crochet hooks in it. I might get another one for my crochet hooks. Let me show you. It's called Stash and Store, and it's meant for like sewing. And it has these these rubber things in it. It came in this box. It's like ten or twelve dollars on Amazon. And um, so for your sewing area, you know, you can have your scissors, your seam rippers, or other little things um, that you want to stand up. I love it. And you also can put a whole bunch of crochet hooks in it. And they have different sizes. They have a smaller profile one and a larger one. And it's um, kind of weighted on the bottom. I'm really liking that. Another sewing acquisition I got was, this is weighted, and it is um, for your pins. I mean, yeah, you're like, well, Jiminy Crickets. Yeah, that lid's on there well. <laughs> oh, no, I can't, literally can't get it off. <laughs> well, that does me no good, right? <gasps> oh, it fell. <laughs> The magnet, the magnet worked well. <laughs> they didn't move, praise God. I would have had magnets everywhere. So I like this idea. I like it that it has um, this groove so you can get in here and grab one. And um, so I'm really liking that. I might have to keep the lid off it though. Because <laughs> the lid works too well. And it's actually a clover. So I really, really like that. Got it on Amazon. Um, then I wanted to show you a couple crochet related Christmas gifts I got um, from my son and his girlfriend, um, Sarah, Justin and Sarah. In um, I think this was in my, my <laughs> stocking. She gave me this coffee and crochet <laughs> but the inside it's more of a graph why why what I wonder why it's not lying do you guys know is there a reason why they did this graph so you could like draw out your own stuff I'm not I don't understand but it's very cute I'm sure I could still just write in it regularly um then my oldest son, Ray Jr., and his wife, Joy, they got me this binder. It is for, it's a yarn passport. You put your yarn samples right here and the name and the fiber and the color. And it has, I don't know, five of those and different index tabs for other things. And then, whoops, so yay, so that was a yarny Christmas gift, and then my middle son, Ryan, he got me this, yay, I think these might be a size 2 yarn, and it came with two packs. So these will be great for um, doing my like Christmas ornaments because I think, I think it's crinkly. <laughs> I think it might be a two. Hard to tell. It doesn't say on there. It's acrylic. So that'll be excellent for or ornaments. And then in it came this, and unfortunately it has um, the hooks I can't touch that make me itch and get a rash. <laughs> They're very, oh, it's hard on my breathing. So, ooh, woo, 
and I might give that to Sarah. Um, ah, my shirt. This thing just doesn't want to stay well. <laughs> um, so those were my yarny Christmas gifts. And my husband, he gave me some money for um, yarn. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> um, the next acquisition I wanted to talk about is I got, I thought I was getting crochet now. Nope, it's called Crochet Magazine. <laughs> So this was the second one that I got that I won't be keeping. Um, I'll show you some of the projects in here. There's this. That is a, um, it's like a kitchen dishcloth, they call it. Um, they have some patterns for preemie hats. That's sweet. Um, they have, I actually folded down the ones on this. Oh, I really, really like this. This is a dress used with, um, a size, oh no, a DK cotton acrylic yarn. I really like that. I would love to have that for summer. So I'm just happy for this magazine for this dress right here. I'm, I'm going to try it. I am. This one is called Spring 2020, if you're interested. Um, it actually says Defining Crochet. So, um, really, really like that dress. They have... Now I've lost where I was. I'm all distracted on the birdie dress. <laughs> I like that. That's a cute tunic. Um, they have this, they have another cardigan, just so you guys might get an idea what patterns they have, just in case, then you'll know if you want to get this magazine or not. But you have to be able to read a pattern. And I don't know if I'm good enough to make that dress. Because <laughs> I can, can I can read an anagrami pattern. <laughs> they have this purse. And I'm not showing you everything. They have different headbands. Here's a headband. They have... Let me see. They have scarves. This is a, you could wear it as a scarf or a headband. Cute. And I'll show you one more. They have this floating pineapple shawl. So the nice thing that I like this, this magazine does, just like my crochet world, is you can see all the patterns on this page. So... I mean, you get a lot of patterns for a crochet magazine. I mean, I think it's worth it, but I don't need two. So I prefer crochet now, though this one had some, you know, that dress, that summer dress would be perfect. Um, another acquisition, I've been buying some patterns, and um, this pattern right here, um, My friend Karen, that we email back and forth, and I met her via YouTube, and she has chronic fatigue syndrome like me and some other health issues. She has she made this shawl and sent me a couple pictures of it, and I love it. <laughs> so I had to buy the pattern. Look at that pattern. That's going to be my next shawl right there. She um has to, she, you have to block it to get it to, you know, truly spike like that. Love it. Love it. Can't wait to make that shawl. And then this isn't in color, but, um, I bought the Victrina beanie from the dabbling hook. Um, I just think that hat's so cute and I wanted to give it a go. And then 
I'm prepping for next Christmas so I won't be so late. And I'm going to try to make one a month. I think that would, no, because that would be 12. <laughs> one every other month, something like that. But I'm only going to choose one. So I bought this pack of these ornaments because my son liked them. So um, my goal will be to one a year. So I'll, you know, like let's say I'm going to do him. I'll make seven of them throughout the year. And then that'll be their Christmas ornament. And then next year, you know, I'll do him and next year him. So I'm good. I'm set. There won't, I won't need to guess what ornament I'm going to do. Um, and my, oh, another acquisition is I got some pom-poms in. I've been looking for fur pom-poms. And the ones I bought, oh, I thought they were bigger. I got this pack a while ago. But they, I wanted big fur pom-poms. And I know that they fluff up. But I wanted a little bit bigger. And they do fluff up. But my new ones... Are bigger so I'm happy with these big ones I wanted some really big pom-pom fur ones because these these other ones look too small for my hat so I'll put a link to the ones that I'm like yes these are the bigger ones um, so I got those pom-poms and my last acquisition is I got my first um, yarn subscription box. And I saw, um, well, Jiminy Crickets, Carrie Penny. <laughs> and I never can remember her new YouTube um, channel. She showed this box, and I was like, oh my gosh, I love that box, and I wanted to try a subscription box, so I got this box. Yay! <laughs> and in it was this skein of yarn right here, or hank of yarn. It is 85% superwash merino, 15% percent something that it makes no sense to me and it's 231 yards 100 grams i have no idea what that is so you got a hank of yarn you got a crochet hook that i'm not sure i have small hands but i am going to try to use it and you get a pattern, two patterns with it, and you get a very adorable ooh, stitch marker. So I will probably only do this one more time because I didn't cancel it. Um, just because I've been finding some companies with yarn, I mean some yarn companies that um, have really, really good prices for yarn. And so with shipping and everything, that was $40. So I, I'm i bad. I'm like, mm, I could have spent that $40 and got a whole bunch of yarn. <laughs> but I'm curious to see what the hook is like. Um, so that is it for my acquisitions. Um, yikes, I'm like at 20 minutes. Um, finished objects. I have, I did another little octopus. I did the Grinch one and then I had to make her. <laughs> and then she needed to be, um, girlified some. I needed something. So I just kind of wrapped this around and then I put a button on her bow. Her eyes didn't turn out so so well. I still need practice. <laughs> but she's cute. I'm thinking about, I don't have them near me, but doing earrings. <laughs> we'll see, but I love her. She's purple. I um, She's the pattern from the dabbling hook. And that's it. 
that's the only finished object I have because I haven't been doing good. But I have been working on two whips. One of them is a gift, so I can't show it to you. And then the other one is... I don't think I can I show it to you yet. I started the 2020 challenge. And um, so I chose... I have ice yarns. And I, I'm going to do the scarf. And I wanted to use ice yarns because I have plenty in my stash. And so I decided to do a chunky yarn so it would work up quicker. So the yarn I chose was this. And I'm already on my second skein. And almost done with my scarf. Um, and I'm going to make a hat to go with it. And this is Magic Bulky Blue Shades Purple, Pink, Orange, and Yellow. So this is the ice yarns I, I chose for the challenge. And um, I have to say, I'm really, really enjoying it. Uh, I, you know, had that yarn for a long time. So it was fun to go into my stash um, pick the yarn and make something that I've had in my stash for a long time. So then it got me thinking um, about all the yarn that I have and I have a lot of yarn for specific projects that I haven't even started. I have yarn for um, for specific sweaters, for specific amigurami, um, shawls, all kinds of things and um, I just keep buying more yarn. So I was thinking, but I don't know if anybody would be interested in doing some kind of um, like stash buster challenge for 2020 where, you know, like on the first of every month, um, we pick a, but, um, a project like a scarf or a shawl or whatever. And then we get something from our stash and we make that. And at the end of the month, we show each other, you know, the things that we made. Like you guys, um, my friends, you, the subscribers could show me on my Facebook group. Like, hey, this is my stash buster project, my scarf, my shawl, my, what, you know. Or maybe one month it could be... Um, a bag o' day, something from bag o' day, or something from fiber spider, you know, but the intent would be, you know, pull from your stash, and if you don't have a stash, and you buy as you go, then you could just buy some yarn, and, um, or, you know, like, I have all these patterns I bought, you know, one month could be, um, pick a pattern that you bought, but you haven't, you haven't made it yet, and then pull from your stash, and, um, you know, show me what you made, um, I don't know if any other YouTubers would be interested in that, um, but I, I thoroughly enjoyed grabbing this ice yarns, and I have I have way more than just ice yarns, but um, grabbing it and making the scarf and to show it on the twentieth. So um, that's just kind of my rough idea. I don't know if. Um, anybody would be interested in that, but I'm thoroughly enjoying this 2020 challenge. Um, and I know it can be anything. It didn't have to be a scarf. They changed it. Didn't have to be ice yarns, but I figured I had ice yarns for a while. Um, like I have stuff in there to make Krista's party cardy. I haven't done yet. I have, um, in there to make her, I don't know if it's her shrug. It's a thing that goes just on your arms. I have stuff in there to make my mom one, me one done it yet <laughs> so um I don't know that was just something I thought I'd throw out there and see is anybody interested in doing something like that with me just you know to challenge yourself to you know make something that we've had planned I have stuff yarn to make this unicorn to make a um a unicorn amarant grommy to make a bunny rabbit to make a I don't remember Oh, a Charmander. Does anybody watch Pokemon? <laughs> but, um, and then two last things. One, my 750 subscriber went away. Went, went away. <laughs> winner. <laughs> the giveaway winner. Um, hasn't emailed me. I'm not going to say anything on her string, you know, it, my hopes is whoever wins is watching my channel, watched the winner, and then 
um, says, hey, and emails me about it. And I forgot to give a time. I don't know how any of that works. So I'm going to give it another week. And if nobody responds, I'm going to pull another winner. So if you haven't looked and you entered in the 750 subscriber went away, man, I can't say it. <laughs> entered in it. Um, are you the winner? Because <laughs> if you are, please email me. Um, one last thing. I um, bought this yarn at the Hobby Lobby clearance. And I have one, two, three, four, six. And I need seven of them to make this cardigan. And I will pop it up here on the screen, the cardigan. That I'd love to make. And I just need one more. And I don't know, does anybody have... It is called Yarn Bee Sweet Divinity Strawberry. Um, so I guess that's the name of the, the color. Is anybody willing <laughs> to let me buy um, one little ball of yarn if you're willing to part with it? I don't know if you need all of it to make your project. But I thought I'd put it out there. I just need one more. It calls for seven. I only have six. But I'm thinking maybe I could do some areas in white. Like here and here. And I don't know. We'll see. But I, I, um, I want to do this. You know, I want to do my projects on cardigans with yarn that I have in my stash. But I needed one more. So if you have that and you're willing to part with it, if you could email me, my email address is in the description box below. Um, I'm sorry. Ah, this is a long video. <laughs> and I think that's it. <laughs> After I finish my 2020 challenge and the gift, I'm not sure. Oh, well, I need to do that hat. That's my goal is to, you know, I'm getting these boxes. I would like to try that hat and use that hook. So that might be my next project. I hope everybody is doing well. I am doing better than I was. I'm still not great, but um, I'm doing better. I'm grateful for that. Um, if you haven't um, subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you do. If you could like this, I would um, appreciate that as well. I will. Man, I don't know how to end these things. <laughs> I, by the time I'm done, I'm like, whew, man, that took a lot of energy. What am I supposed to say? <laughs> uh, I hope you guys are all doing well and um, resting after the holidays and getting ready for 2020. And I will talk to everyone later. Bye.